Hey and welcome to the Daily Arsenal News Show. Let's begin with our daily news. Kieran Tierney could be sold in the summer. Kevin Campbell has claimed that Arsenal defender Kieran Tierney could be sold at the end of the season, highlighting the improvement in our side when Alexander Zinchenko is selected. The Gunners have been in top form this term, with or without the Ukrainian defender in the side due to injury absence, but he has been the first choice ahead of the Scott since it joining you from Manchester City. Tierney's place in the squad is now in question, with the likes of Nuno Tavares also impressing out on loan also, and Campbell believes that while he has a role to play for the remainder of the 22-23 campaign, this could well be his last season in our side. Campbell told the Highbury squad the following, He didn't influence the game against Oxford the way we know he could, but that's because of the level Zinchenko is now playing at. You look at when Zinchenko comes on and then all of a sudden we click because we dominate the ball. Why? Because he dominates the ball, he is technically he is technically so gifted. Kieran Tierney isn't that type of player. He is your typical left back. He will get it and he will move up and down. Sometimes he can do that, come into midfield and dictate play but nowhere near as Zinchenko does because he is a really good midfielder. On Kieran Tierney no longer being suited to how Arsenal play, Campbell added, I think sometimes it depends on who we play. I think there will be times when Kieran Tierney is preferred at left back. In some of those Europa League games, Kieran Tierney could be starting. I think for the league, for the domination we want to have with the ball, then I think Zinchenko is the preferred player. Tierney might be surplus to requirements at the end of the season, let's see, but I still think he definitely has a part to play from this point until the end of the season. Journalist shares Arsenal's transfer stance on Aston Villa's Douglas Louise. Ryan Taylor of The Express shed some light on Arsenal's stance on signing Douglas Louise this month after missing out on him last summer. The Gunners were the separate for a new midfielder at the end of the summer transfer window after Mohamed El Nini suffered an injury that ruled him out for a few months. Aston Villa star Luis became their top target, but a move did not materialize in the end. Even though Luis stayed put at Villa Park, rumors linking him to Arsenal did not stop even after the transfer window shut. Simon Phillips told Give Me Sport in September that Louise will end up joining Arsenal as a free agent in the summer of 2023, while the Sun claimed at the end of the same month that the Gunners will make a move for him in January. The Brazilian, however, decided to extend his contract in October. That still didn't stop the rumors as a journalist Dina Jones said a little over a month ago that Arsenal could well revive their interest in Louise in the winter window. That, however, doesn't look like it will happen as Taylor has revealed that the Gunners' interest in the unbelievable Brazilian has ended. He said in a video on his YouTube channel the following, In the summer, Arsenal made a light move for Douglas Luiz, their interest has now ended because his contract has been extended at Aston Villa. That was a key factor behind Arsenal's interest. Villa were under pressure to consider offers because Douglas Luiz was in the final 12 months of his contract. Arsenal still do need a new midfielder, but their focus at this moment in time lies elsewhere. Gunners back to swoop for Ivan Indica on a free transfer. Arsenal have been linked with Eintracht Frankfurt star Ivan Indica in recent months. Back in October, El Romanista claimed the Gunners had set their sights on the 23-year-old. Two months later, the same outlet claimed Arsenal had actually agreed a deal to sign Indica this coming summer. It looks as though the latter report was wide of the mark with the race seemingly still open. Indica's contract expires in the summer meaning he can speak to no German clubs about a pre-contract agreement. According to Frankfurter Round Show, Arsenal and Spurs have both been offered the chance to sign the player. Now Express journalist Ryan Taylor has given his thoughts on Indica's future amid links with the North Londoners. He said, I can see why Arsenal would be interested in Indica. From what I understand, he is expected to stay at Frankfurt until the end of the season, and the reason why is that his contract will then expire, meaning he will be free to negotiate on a free transfer. 
effectively he will get more money from his next contract to his next club and I do expect Arsenal to be one of the teams that have a look at landing him permitting the finances are right and the wage demands are right with Indica and his representatives but I don't expect anything to happen on that front this month unfortunately. Despite his young age, Ndika already has over 150 appearances for Frankfurt in all competitions. Indeed, his efforts helped the club win the Europa League last season. And this term, Frankfurt are in the Champions League last 16. Ndika is talented, has a high ceiling, is physically imposing and can play at left back as well as center back. As per Frankfurt Rancho, Ndika's agent want 15 million euros up front for him to sign. They also want an additional 7 million euro a year salary, around 119,000 pounds a week until the summer of 2028. The report claims some clubs have withered around their interest due to these demands. However, Arsenal could certainly afford those fees and with top quality left-footed centre-backs being in high demand, he may well be worth a shot. Alex Crook shares Leandro Trossard update amid Tottenham and Arsenal transfer links. Tottenham Hotspur and Arsenal have both been linked with Leandro Trossard in recent days. Earlier this week, Talk sport journalist Alex Crew claimed both Spurs and the Gunners were eyeing the Brighton Ice. He reported that Tottenham's interest is a genuine, while Arsenal are also monitoring developments. Prior to Crook's tweet, the Daily Mail reported that Spurs have accelerated their interest in signing Trossard. Both Tottenham and the Gunners are reportedly looking to bolster their attacking ranks in the January transfer window. This comes in the wake of injuries to key players from both sides. Spurs are currently without Richarlison and Kulusevski, while Arsenal are without Gabriel Jesus. Crook has now elaborated on the links between Spurs and the Belgium international on Give Me Sport. He went on to say, I think Brighton are always willing to let players go if they think they are getting value for money. They showed that with Marco Correa, Ben White and Yavis Bissoma. I am told Tottenham's interest is genuine. This is more than a just paper talk, but they haven't made a bid yet. What Brighton have done, quite crucially, is they have protected themselves because they have triggered the one-year option in his contract. He is contracted until the summer of 2024, so I think it takes a decent bid to get him away. Trossard wouldn't be a bad shoot for either Tottenham or Arsenal. He is Brighton's joint top scorer this season with 7 goals as well as 3 assists. Trossard has been with the Seagulls since the summer of 2019, so he has plenty of Premier League experience. He appears to have fallen out of favour with the new manager Roberto De Zerbi, who recently urged him to step up in a training. Trossard wasn't in the match day squad for the FA Cup win, over Middlesbrough and was only on the bench against Everton in the league. With that in mind, Tottenham and Arsenal may well have a chance of signing the £30 million rated forward this month. Arsenal in a stronger position than in Newcastle United to sign Yuri Tielemans. Journalist Dean Jones has told Give Me Sport that Arsenal are in a stronger position than in Newcastle United to sign Yuri Tielemans, but only if they actually want him. Mikel Arteta is seemingly closing in on his top target for the January window, with reports suggesting that the Gunners are nearing an agreement with Shakhtar Donetsk for Mikaelo Madrik. Eddie Howe will be aiming to bolster his Newcastle squad this month to with the club supposedly looking at reinforcement in midfield and attack. Both Arsenal and Newcastle have been heavily linked with a move for Tielemans over the past few months. The 25-year-old looks set to leave the King Power Stadium by the end of the season, with his contract set to expire in June, but it seems that Arsenal have the edge over Newcastle in the race to sign the Belgian midfielder at the moment due to their brilliant start to the season. Jones provided Give Me Sport with an update on Tielemans' future and says Newcastle will have to compete with the Gunners if they want to sign the midfielder this month. He went on to say, He might be somebody they pursue, but if they go for Tielemans, they are suddenly going to have to compete with Arsenal, who are top of the league and probably in a stronger position, to actually sign him if they want to, so there is a lot to weigh out there. But ultimately, I think central midfield and the forward line are both situations that Newcastle are still looking to address. 
Tielemans has been a standout performer for the Foxes ever since he completed a £35 million switch to the Midlands. It's no surprise that clubs are circling as he nears the end of his current deal with Leicester. Arsenal are in the separate need of midfield reinforcements as they lack real quality depth in the position. Newcastle have a similar problem and it seems that both clubs are set to battle it out for the Belgian's signature. The elements would be an excellent addition to both sides and he seems ready to take that next step in his career, but it remains unclear whether Leicester will allow him to leave this month, especially as the club only sit two points above the relegation zone. Arsenal midfield target Milenkovic Savic has now been made available for loan. Lazio midfielder Sergei Milenkovic Savic has been made available for loan and Arsenal are now ready to swoop. As per El Messagero via Toto Juve, Lazio have a ground frustrated with the lack of movement over a new contract. His current deal expires in 2024 and the Serbian international has so far refused to agree to a renewal and that has alerted the Gunners and Juventus. They say that Lazio would be willing to agree a 10 million euros loan fee this month with a 40 million euro guaranteed future fee. The midfielder has been repeatedly linked with a move to the Premier League with Manchester United mentioned regularly, but the price tag has always been too high, which makes you wonder whether Lazio really would make him available for loan. The only way it makes sense is that Lazio really have realized the midfielder will not sign a new contract and see this approach as a way to guarantee over £40 million total for a player whose value is only going to keep going down the longer he goes without signing the new deal. Nearly £9 million is a steep loan fee, but the potential to get the player and permanently may mean it's a deal Arsenal do seriously consider doing if it's actually on the table. Arsenal have been linked with a new central midfield recruit since the summer transfer window when they decided to push ahead with the playmaker Fabio Vieira despite extensive interest in Yuri Tielemans. Tielemans own contract situation remains unresolved so he could yet move for a reduced fee this month or for nothing in the summer. In the summer, Sky pounded Paul Merson called the Serbian the best midfielder in Italy and said that he would be a better bet than Tielemans. It seems Arsenal's priority is a new forward, with Mikaelo Modric the clear first choice, but reinforcement in the middle of the park would not go amiss either. Fabrizio Romano shares the reason why Arsenal haven't wrapped up a deal for Mikaelo Modric yet. It's clear as day at this point that Mikaelo Modric is Arsenal's priority target in this month's transfer window and Fabrizio Romano has revealed the latest on the deal. The Gunners have been heavily linked with the Ukraine international for months now. Modric too has been dropping hints about his desire to become an Arsenal player. He even admitted in an interview that he cannot say no to Mikel Arteta's side. Negotiations with Shakhtar Donetsk, however, haven't been easy for Arsenal. Arsenal wants Modric and Modric wants Arsenal. What could possibly be the issue? Well, Shakhtar Donetsk made it clear a few months ago that their asking price for the 21-year-old stands at 100 million euros and they are still insisting on that figure. Arsenal have had two offers rejected already, neither was anywhere near the Ukrainian giant's valuation of Modric, who is undoubtedly their most valuable player. Romano has revealed that is the reason why the move hasn't gone through yet, he further claimed that Arsenal have absolutely no intention of paying the 100 million euro that Shakhtar are demanding in this window. He said in a video on his YouTube channel the following, What I wanted to explain to you is that we have different kinds of negotiations in the transfer market. Sometimes the clubs are not in direct contact, they just send official bids and get an answer. But in this case, Shakhtar and Arsenal are in direct contact, they speak almost every single day. This is why Arsenal have always been confident and optimistic, but also because the player wants Arsenal as full priority. Modric is really pushing to go to Arsenal, he wants to go there. Between the clubs, the conversation is on a daily basis. They always speak, but Shakhtar as they told Chelsea last week, and Arsenal for a long time, they are still insisting on 100 million euros. What's going on? Arsenal want to sign Modric, but not for 100 million euros. At the moment, Arsenal have no intention to match the full 100 million euros package. 
This is why the negotiation is still ongoing. Multiple reports over the last few days have claimed that Arsenal are very close to reaching an agreement with Shakhtar to sign Modric. ESPN journalist Georgi Barvale claimed that Modric will be an Arsenal player, while Talk Sports' Alex Krug revealed that Modric to Arsenal will happen. If Romano is to be believed, however, that's not the case at this moment in time. Edo is constantly in talks with Shakhtar, but an agreement over the fee has not been reached yet. Arsenal fans will be hoping that will change in the coming days. I will be uploading daily Arsenal news show, so keep your eyes on the channel and don't forget to like and subscribe. I appreciate your support. Peace out.